Welcome to pre math. In this video, we have got this uh, square uh, D E F uh, G fully inscribed uh, in a right triangle uh, A B C, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, its uh, side length uh, A B is uh, 5 units, whereas its other side length uh, A C is uh, 10 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region, this area and this area combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, big right triangle uh, ABC. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our uh, Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, our two legs are uh, 10 and 5, whereas uh, our hypotenuse is uh, this side uh, bc. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got uh, 5 square plus uh, 10 square is going to be equal to this side length uh, bc square so therefore uh, b c square turns out to be 125 and i'm going to undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore uh, our this uh, side uh, b c length turns out to be five times uh, square root of five units so therefore uh, our this uh, side b c length uh, turns out to be 5 times uh, square root of uh, 5 and now let's recall the definition of a trapezoid sometimes we call it uh, the trapezium a quadrilateral with at least one pair of uh, parallel sides and here we can see that this uh, green shaded uh, diagram uh, DECG is uh, indeed uh, the trapezoid and now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula. Area is always equal to height uh, h uh, times uh, the sum of the bases a plus b all over 2. And here in our case, uh, this uh, d e is the height of this uh, trapezoid. d, g and uh, e, c are the bases of this uh, trapezoid. And now our task is to find the height uh, of this trapezoid and we are going to find the bases A and B as well. And now let's assume alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these two complementary angles, alpha plus beta, must be equal to 90 degrees. Let's assume that this angle is our angle alpha. Then this angle has got to be angle alpha as well because these two angles are our corresponding angles. Likewise, if I call this angle as our angle beta, then this angle has got to be our angle beta as well. They're going to be corresponding angles as well. And now in this uh, triangle, we know this angle is 90 degrees. This angle is beta. So therefore, this angle has got to be our angle alpha. And finally, in this uh, triangle, uh, this angle is alpha, this angle is uh, 90 degrees, so therefore this angle has got to be our angle beta. So therefore we can see that this uh, right triangle uh, BED and this uh, big right triangle uh, ABC are our uh, similar triangles according to angle-angle similarity theorem. So therefore we are going to have a proportion. In other words, uh, the ratio of the side lengths uh, BE and DE is going to be equal to the ratio of the side lengths uh, AB and uh, AC. And here's our uh, BE segment length and our uh, DE segment length uh, is going to be this height. And now we can see our this side uh, AB length uh, is uh, 5 units. So I'm going to replace that one with the uh, 5 units. And finally this side uh, AC length uh, in our case uh, is uh, 10 units. So I'm going to replace that one with uh, 10 over here. 
and now we can see 5 divided by 10 reduces to 1 divided by 2 as you can see in this uh, next step and now we can see the ratio of these uh, two side lengths uh, is equal to a half so therefore uh, we conclude that our uh, this uh, BE side length uh, is going to be equal to 1 times some constant uh, K and likewise uh, for this uh, DE the side length uh, DE is going to be equal to 2 times uh, some constant K as well so thus we can see that this uh, BE segment length uh, turns out to be 1k so I'm going to write down k over here and likewise our uh, DE length uh, is going to be 2 times uh, k and now we can see that uh, this square has all these uh, side lengths uh, equal so therefore uh, this side length has got to be 2k 2k and likewise uh, 2k as well and here's our next step let's make an observation we can see that this uh, right triangle uh, GFC and this uh, other big right triangle uh, ABC are our similar triangles uh, as well according to angle angle uh, similarity theorem so therefore we are going to have a proportion in other words the ratio of the side lengths uh, FC and FG is going to be equal to the ratio of the side length uh, AC and AB and here our uh, FC length uh, is this one our this uh, FG length uh, is uh, in our case is 2 times K so therefore I'm going to replace that uh, side with uh, 2K over here and likewise uh, our side uh, AC is uh, 10 units so I'm going to replace that one with the 10 over here and finally our this uh, side AB length uh, is 5 so I'm going to replace that one with 5 over here and here we can see 10 divided by 5 reduces to simply 2 as you can see in this uh, next step and now we are going to cross multiply so therefore uh, our uh, segment uh, FC length uh, turns out to be simply 4 uh, times K so therefore we can see our this uh, segment uh, FC length uh, turns out to be 4 uh, times K and now let's make an observation we can see this uh, whole uh, BC length is going to be equal to these uh, three individual lengths uh, K plus uh, 2k plus uh, 4k and if we add uh, 3 individual lengths uh, our uh, BC length uh, is going to be 7 times uh, k and moreover we know that this uh, BC length uh, is uh, 5 times square root of 5 as well so therefore I can write uh, BC length uh, as uh, 5 uh, times uh, square root of 5 uh, as well and if I compare uh, these uh, two equations I can simply write down uh, 7 times uh, k is going to be equal to 5 times uh, square root of 5 and now I'm going to divide both sides by 7 to isolate uh, k so therefore uh, our constant k value turns out to be 5 times square root of 5 divided by 7 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green uh, trapezoid and now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula once again area equals to height h times the sum of these two bases a plus b all over 2 and here in our case uh, one of the bases is uh, 2k plus 4k is going to give us uh, 6 times k okay. and the other base uh, is uh, 2 times k and the height uh, of this uh, trapezoid is uh, 2 times k as well so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so the green trapezoid area is going to be our height is uh, 2 times k divided by 2 times uh, 1 of our bases is uh, 6 times k plus uh, 2k 
and now we can see 2k divided by 2 is going to give us simply k and 6k plus 2k is going to give us uh, a times k so therefore uh, i can write uh, k times uh, 8 k and that is going to be equal to a times uh, k square and we can see our k value is 5 times square root of 5 divided by 7 so i'm going to substitute that value over here so therefore uh, this is going to become 8 uh, times uh, 5 times square root of 5 divided by 7 whole uh, square so this could be written as uh, 8 uh, times uh, 125 divided by 49 and if we multiply and simplify everything that is going to give us uh, 1000 uh, divided by 49 uh, square units so thus the area of this uh, green shaded trapezoid turns out to be 1000 divided by 49 square units and that is going to be approximately equal to 20.41 square units as well thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye